It's really important that we as humans recognise that our actions have consequences. We're burning vast quantities of fossil fuels that are releasing enormous amounts of greenhouse gases. Along with deforestation and other industrial processes, these will all lead to an enhanced greenhouse effect. What we have to do is find ways to mitigate the threat that we face. There are numerous impacts of global climate change, from stronger and more frequent tropical storms to heat-related diseases like malaria, from increased drought and flooding to desertification and loss of habitats. With so many potential impacts from global climate change, steps need to be taken straight away to mitigate these impacts. A simple method of mitigation is to plant trees. Trees absorb carbon dioxide for use in photosynthesis and can release moisture into the atmosphere through transpiration. This moisture will help to cool the atmosphere. One such programme is the Great Green Wall in Africa, set to create an 8,000 kilometre wall of trees stretching right across the continent. Alternate renewable energy sources can also help mitigate climate change. Hydroelectric, solar, wind and tidal, to name a few, are all sustainable, renewable and don't emit greenhouse gases as a byproduct of their energy generation. Carbon capture and storage uses technology to capture up to 90% of the carbon dioxide emitted when fossil fuels are burnt. When it's captured, it's then compressed and transported through pipes to a well, where it's injected as a liquid into the ground. International agreements are important, because the climate affects the whole planet. The Kyoto Protocol of 2005, the Copenhagen Accord in 2009 and the Paris Agreement in 2015 have all aimed to tackle climate change and reduce the emissions of greenhouse gases. Mitigation is crucial to reduce the effects of climate change, but we also need to adapt to the changes that are here and those that may come in the future. Agriculture will need to adapt because although scientists believe that in middle latitudes crop yields from certain crops will increase, at lower latitudes crop yields will reduce significantly and could lead to starvation. Introducing drought resistant crops and new forms of irrigation whilst planting more trees for shade and educating farmers in water harvesting and new cropping techniques will help future proof areas at risk. Water supplies, particularly in the most vulnerable areas, will be affected and areas at risk of drought need to prepare for future shortages. In the Himalayas, most of the glaciers are receding, which threatens the security of water supply for the millions of people who rely on these glaciers for their water. Collecting water behind embankments and allowing it to freeze creates small, artificial glaciers which can then melt in the spring, helping to maintain water supplies. With sea levels set to rise even further, coastal locations will need to further develop protection from flooding. Locations such as the Maldives in the Indian Ocean may well be uninhabitable in the next decade and possibly submerged by 2070. A three-metre seawall is being constructed around the capital Mali, with thousands of sandbags being used throughout the islands. Houses are being built on stilts and there's been restoration of mangrove forests to protect against storm waves, whilst in some locations new artificial islands have been constructed. Ultimately, the population of the Maldives may well face relocation in the not-too-distant future. Climate change has created many challenges and we must learn how to respond to these in order to adapt to the changes and mitigate against future disasters. Music